Look at that white tail. For a lot of Alberta resident hunters, elk are right near the top of the list when it comes to species that we love to hunt each year. It's no surprise that elk are among the toughest animals to hunt and perhaps the smartest. However, the sound of a bugling bull elk ringing through the valley draws us back year after year to test our skills and wits against what many consider to be the ultimate big game animal. Beautiful morning up here. Got up on the ridge. It was just after sunrise, but there was enough of a cloud bank that it feels like the sun actually just rose now. I'm soaking wet. Should have grabbed my, I had my scree gaiters in my hand last night as I was packing everything up. And I'm like, ah, it's dry as a popcorn fart. I don't need these. Well, apparently it rained out here last night and everything is just dripping wet. Now I'm dripping wet. That bull isn't too terrible interested. But he might slowly work his way in. I'm not in a spot where I can call him in. So I'm just looping around right now. Get to a spot where it's not so open. And maybe he'll slowly work his way in towards me. Just when he finally decided to start coming in, the wind just shifted. That's too bad. Like most elk hunters, the story of a successful elk hunt often begins a few years prior to the successful hunt. For Jeffrey, it's been three years since the last time he's taken a bull. But over the course of those three years, there have been a ton of encounters and lessons learned along the way. So we've got at least two bulls bugling below us here. We're just hoping. Yeah, they're not that far apart. We're just hoping two things. One, that they do what they did the other morning and basically come up right where we are. And two, that our wind doesn't drop down to them. It's been all over, it's swirling right now, it feels bad. Right down the hill. But in 30 seconds, it'll be going the other way.
we're actually trying to get to this uprooted stump here, which is literally five yards away. And as we're walking here real quiet, I see a cow. And she's got us pinned. She's looking at us. She saw us moving, so we stopped. And she settled down, but we, we felt like we couldn't really call because we're kind of stuck out. We had this one tree here and then a clearing and more and more cows started filtering in. Then we saw a little raghorn bull, a little four by five in with this herd of cows. We're like, well, that's not the bull that's bugling. Then we got a glimpse of a bigger bull, a good bull. I'm watching him through my binoculars. I can just see the back end. All of a sudden he turns, trots away. And I look over at the herd of cows where there had been 10 cows five seconds earlier, there were none. Didn't hear them run. My only guess is that the wind betrayed us, which is not surprising. Fatal Impact is proudly sponsored by Wood Wheaton Super Center. Black Widow Innovations, the MD of Bonneville, Weatherby, Glendale Targets, Deluxe Wall Tents, and Wapiti River Outdoors. Too many days in the darkness without a glimpse of the light. Jeffrey would close out the 2021 season with his elk tag still in his pocket, but anxiously looking forward to next year. We're having lunch now. We've given up for the morning, I would say. Yep, I yeah, so. given up for the morning. Seeing how it's like one o'clock. <laughs> We're gonna head back to the tent, maybe catch a couple winks, but we've got a pretty good idea where they are bedded, I think, and where they wanna be this evening. So that's more than you can say for most elk hunts. It's pretty good. It's good. Yeah. We're hoping they, they do what they did last night if they do, we'll be waiting for them. chop down some limbs, make myself a little ground blind here. And get cozy because this is where I'm gonna be till dark.
Can you believe that? I literally just moved from that spot. I was sitting 56 yards from where he walked out of the trees. The last time he vehicled, he was down here. And I thought I would get closer. They walked out right where I'd been sitting. Still only 128 yards. I thought I could draw him this way, but that lead cow did not like me. She saw my face, I'm pretty sure. Nice bull. Fatal Impact is proudly sponsored by Scree Gear. Top Notch Taxidermy Studio. Onyx Hunt. Covert Scouting Cameras. Mad Ramps. Federal Premium Ammunition. And High Mountain Seasonings. Well, ready for another night. Another night at the Ritz Carlton. Got the bike ready to go in the morning. Tomorrow, hopefully, we find some elk. After several close encounters with some beautiful bulls over the course of the last two seasons, Jeffrey found himself pushing slightly further out into the prairies in search of the herds that had been overlooked by many hunters heading right into the hills. In the fall of 2023, it didn't take him long before stumbling onto a fantastic bull tucked into the countryside. I am stalking a monster bull. Monster bull. Jeffrey did everything he could to pull this bull across the fence to where he had permission, but eventually he ran out of light. He headed right back in the next morning, hoping to cross paths with him again, but instead he found the entire herd. This has been one of the best elk hunting mornings of my entire life. Probably the best by far. I think every elk on the mountain is down here. That's why we haven't been able to find them. I'm just letting them slip out of sight and then I'm gonna try to make a move, get closer. My plan is to just stay close to the big herd and hopefully, eventually, one of the big bulls comes around my direction. Just gonna keep the wind right, not make any noise not do any calling and just shadow them 
sooner or later something's gonna get close enough. This segment of Fatal Impact is brought to you by Tourism Saskatchewan. Experience the beauty of Saskatchewan for yourself. As soon as they go out of sight here, I'm gonna get up and beeline over there and see if I can keep an eye on him. Well, there he is. <laughs> I cannot even begin to tell you the emotion that I felt during this whole hunt. It was so up and down. From total elation to just verge of tears. One of the greatest elk hunts of my entire life. It just happened to get on the whole herd. They must have got pushed together, probably from down out of the hills, got all bunched together, <sighs> screaming bulls. I got in close to the herd. They were chasing and bugling all around me. This guy bugled a couple times right before I shot him. Just the flood of gratitude and joy when I saw his antlers sticking out. I can't even begin to describe it. <sighs> I am so blessed just to be able to do this. So I am just filled with gratitude. First that I was able to experience this and do this, but then that I was able to actually close this chapter and, and get this bull. I'm so stoked. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Now the work begins. All right, got this side here. Getting out. A little help from the tripod. Now it's time to take both those front and back shoulder off. Get them in the uh, game bags. Pretty big job when you're solo. <laughs> it's going to be an even bigger job hauling them out of here. But <laughs> 